Hey, this is John with the Breakthrough Creative and a bit of a casual episode this week. So, you know, I was thinking to myself, yeah, artists are funny, right? We're all we're all kind of funny because we have these preconceived notions. And maybe that just goes across the board with everybody, right? And I guess that's true. Everybody around the world has preconceived notions. But artists have, it seems like we silo ourselves into what we do. Um, and, and I guess by that, I mean, we have an idea about the kind of art that we want to do. And maybe there's some romance attached to that. Like, this is the kind of art I can do. And this is all I want to do, or this is all I can do. And, and then when you add the finance part to it, you, you may have had people telling you, like they told me, yeah, you can't really make a living at art. And I mean, that's just an absurd statement by people who don't know because either either they don't understand art or they don't they don't understand the the they haven't gone far enough with it. And by that I mean you make a decision to pursue it and it becomes a job to find a job or to find the work that you're gonna do with your art. It's really really simple but it's not necessarily easy and you know I've had lean times in my business and I've had fantastic times um, from from the time I was 18 up until today and and so I, I would say it's a decision you've got to decide what you're going to do and and I think it starts with are you going to decide that you're going to be an artist And what does that mean? Are you going to decide on on how you're going to earn your living? Uh, and then I guess what comes out of that is, is if you decide that you're going to be an artist and you're going to make a living from your art, then you got to take a look at the, the places where you can help people. You can decide to help people and companies with your skills. And, and so... I have no problem with anybody in, in any of those lanes that I just threw out there. So if you decide you're going to be an artist and you're going to, say, paint jars all your days, that's what you're going to do, and you're going to become the best jar painter in the world, then that's a thing, and, and go for it. I don't, know, I don't know how much money you're going to make up front because you're working to please yourself, and you're working to get better at, at the thing that pleases yourself. So that may very well be a hobby. Um, or you may, as the best jar painter in the world, you may find that that there's some people out there who want your jars. And fantastic. And then if you decide it's going to be a hobby, like your art, then, then you're going to need to figure out a way to earn. You're going to have to go get a career. You're going to have to, you're going to, have to figure something out. Okay. Um, but if, if you want to make a living as an artist, like if you exclusively want to do it and, and let's say you're the jar person, you're probably going to fig have to figure out a way to, to build your skill set and build your library of tools to solve somebody's problems, which means you're going to need to become a graphic designer or you're going to need to go work at, at some kind of studio or someplace that has the need for someone who's got your skills. And it's really that simple. It's really that simple. There's not much beyond that. And, and everything else is, is putting the time and the work in, uh, putting in the time to develop your skills, putting in the time to show up to work, whether you're working for yourself or somebody else. If you're working for yourself, you're going to need to solve for yourself. You're going to need to build contacts, probably going to need to uh, be in social media and, and you figure it out that way. There, there's whatever it is, you're going to have to work hard. So there's no getting around that either. So I wonder how often we think about this as, as creatives, because it's easy to focus on the part that you really love and and it takes uh, discipline and sacrifice to focus on 
the business side of things. It even takes discipline and sacrifice to, to go, hey, I'm really good at painting jars. I don't like to paint elephants, but but there's there's money in elephants, let's say you find out wherever you're at. And now you gotta decide, are you gonna make the sacrifice to learn that? So, so anyway, I guess that's just kind of how my mind works. You know, when I think of, of the lanes that I've chosen, uh, because, you know, I've wanted to own a house, I've wanted to have a family, I've wanted to have kids and be able to afford things and have a car and be able to pay for a $50 tank of gas now. And, and I like people and I want to help people and I want to keep working. And I want to keep working at drawing and painting and creating. So, so anyway, that's it. Short episode. Um, hope you guys are doing well through this season. It's a really weird season, really super weird season of life. I've never, I've never been through a, a period like this in my life, and I'm sure you, you haven't either. But if you're wondering, if you're younger and you're like, has this ever happened before? Nope, this is weird stuff. So hope you're doing well and keep going after it, okay? It's hard work. Nobody can do the work for you. You've got to go do the work, okay? All right. I'll see you next time. Cheers.